Many players of Gary's Mod have stumbled across a specific issue when attempting to use custom maps. They'll find one they want to play on, download it and load in all excited, only to find a mess of these pink and black checkerboard textures and error models scattered everywhere. Today, in this 2020 updated guide, I will show you three methods to fix this issue. So without further ado, let's go. But first, it would be worthwhile to quickly teach why this actually happens. So Gary's Mod, while it looks like a standalone game, is actually a modification to the Half-Life 2 game from Valve. Therefore, the base game only uses models, textures, animations, sounds, and etc. from Half-Life 2. This is why when you load into a basic Gmod map, everything is there and there are no issues, no missing textures, and no errors. Why? Well, a map contains geometry. That geometry contains information about the material and textures assigned to it. This goes for everything else that is present in the map, like models. When the map is loading, Gary's mod will assign all the information, that is materials, textures and so on, to their correct objects and geometry in the map. Since a Gary's mod map only uses textures from Gary's mod, it is able to load perfectly. But when you attempt to load a custom map that uses textures and models that are not present in, in Gary's mod's files, it cannot load it, and therefore replaces the texture with a missing texture. This is basically a placeholder, where the game is trying to tell you that there should be something here, but it doesn't have the correct file to put it there. This is because majority of custom maps on the Steam Workshop use textures and models from another Valve title, Counter-Strike Source. So, to fix this issue, we need to get the textures, models, and so on from Counter-Strike Source into Gary's Mod. Let's start with Method 1, which actually involves you spending some money. Go to the Steam Store and just buy Counter-Strike Source. Once you have it, download it, and then link it to Gary's Mod as shown, and you should be good to go. But what if A, you don't want to buy Counter-Strike Source, or B, this method didn't work for you? Then we can go try the popular and my preferred method. There is a link down in the description to take you to a Google Drive page to download the CSS content for Gary's Mod. Make sure you close Sorry, any... I don't know how to help with that. I wasn't talking to you. Sorry, oh. I can't help with email yet. Email? What? Make sure to close any pop-ups when going past this advertisement. You want to make sure you get to this Google Drive page. Once you are here, simply click download. Google will say that they can't scan the file and it may harm your computer. But don't worry, the folder we are downloading only contains content from Counter-Strike Source to put into Gary's Mod. Once it is downloaded, find where it has downloaded to, most likely your downloads folder, and make sure to leave it open like so. Now go to Gary's Mod in your Steam library, click on the settings icon, manage, and click browse local files. You are now in the files for Gary's Mod. Click on the add-ons folder. This folder contains every add-on you have downloaded. Now, simply drag the CSS game content zip file we downloaded into your add-ons folder. Once it is there, select it, right click it, and press extract here. This will extract the files from the zip file into a normal folder so Gary's Mod can access it. If you do not have the extract here option, make sure to install WinRAR. It is a free application that allows you to view and extract zip and RAR files. Just search WinRAR on Google, click on the rarlab.com link, and select either x86 if your computer is 32-bit, or x64 if your computer is 64-bit. You can also use programs like 7-Zip to do the same process. If you do not know what kind of uh, what bit your computer is, just go to the Windows Start button, click Settings, System, About, and your system type will be shown there. Once you have completed extracting the files into the add-ons folder, simply close it, open Gary's Mod, and load up your map. 
If everything has gone correctly, it should be working and all your textures will be loaded in properly and your map will no longer contain the missing textures or error models. However, what if you're playing on a different kind of map or on a server that uses custom content? Well, make sure you download the respective custom content from the Steam Workshop so it can be added to your game. This here is an example for the server Imperial RP. They have a full list of custom content you need installed to avoid missing textures and error models. And as a side note, if the map uses textures from other Valve games like Portal, be sure to link that game in Gary's mod like we did in Method 1 with Counter-Strike Source. And that's it. If this tutorial did help you out, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you are still having issues or have some feedback or a question, leave it in the comments down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good one.